Business owners, executives, and entrepreneurs get your pen and paper ready and tune in Sundays at 1 p.m. for Evolution Strategies, business sustainability and growth simplified. You must evolve to meet the challenges of today's marketplace. This is the only show in the Philly metro area that walks you step-by-step through success factors that make or break your brand. Want some free advice? Call in Sundays at 1 p.m. to talk to your host, Carolyn Lighty, and a panel of experts for Evolution Strategies, business sustainability and growth simplified. Good morning, good morning. No, I'm, you know, I do that all the time. It's actually afternoon. I'm so used to having a show in the morning. This is Carolyn Lighty. I'm your host for Evolution Strategies. And today's topic is going to be entrepreneurship and access to capital. My guest for this show is on his way into the studio. He had a little bit of trouble uh, finding the building, but he should be here momentarily. In the meantime, I was going to announce this at the end of the show, but um, a colleague in of mine is going to be launching his show next Sunday. That's November 3rd. His name is Linwood Jackson. And uh, a lot of you know him. He is uh, an advocate for the community. He's been around a long time. I think he's basically born and raised in this area. And we're very excited that he's going to be launching his talk show, which is going to be community based. And and what else? Good good afternoon, uh, Linwood. How are you today? I'm great, Carolyn. Thanks for having me. Great. So you're getting ready to become well you've been a talk show host for a while you've been co-hosting a lot of shows right oh yes absolutely i'm on television uh, comcast 28 co-hosts and on on radio wilm 1450 as well okay and so what is are you excited about this show come on so show some excitement i know you got to be excited well i am excited <laughs> actually i'm trying to, i'm trying to contain myself in the studio oh. today but <laughs> okay. uh, uh you know we have been working hard uh, uh for over four or five years now um um, with ch- co-hosting two talk shows and a radio show uh, with my friends, um, I guess I can, you know, Miss uh, From the Heart uh, on Comcast Channel 28 and Mr. Uh, Charles Brittingham mm-hmm. uh, also. So I want to thank those guys uh, for allowing me to co-host their shows. And now I am very excited to have my own show coming up November 3rd, the Linwood Jackson Radio Show. Great. So what kinds of things can we look forward to from the Linwood Jackson Show? Oh, well, we can look forward to some great interviews. Uh, uh, we, we plan on putting out some a lot of content and information, uh, tips. Uh, we want to bring on our, our local celebrities and national celebrities, sports, mm-hmm. uh, uh, in sports and politics, and just have them come on and talk to the community about uh, you know how they got started and different things that they want to you know help mm-hmm. the young folks particularly mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know clean up these streets and, and give them a direction and inspire them to achieve uh, you know some big goals Carolyn the um, what I like is is your tagline tell everyone about this wonderful tagline because I think it sums up what your show is going to be about well um, well you're right thanks uh, we're talking about a little bit about the issues Um, a little bit more about the solutions, and then the fun stuff, too, because, you know, we've got to have balance in life. That's good. You know, some of the interviews that I've heard that you've done, um, I I know you're very well entrenched in the boxing community, and I was uh, privileged to hear some of the interviews that you did with some of the boxers up at the Hall of of Fame uh, this previous year. Well, you're absolutely right. I go up uh, every year. I'm a big boxing fan. Uh, on the national level uh, and a little bit on the local uh, as well but uh, basically I do go up to the International Boxing Hall of Fame up in Canasota, New York uh, every year for their induction weekend. It's a big weekend and while I'm there I get to talk to a lot of the uh, uh, boxing uh, uh, superstars up there. Give Um, us an idea of a couple of the ones that you actually interviewed. Well, I've interviewed, this year I've interviewed uh, Julian Jackson and his son, Julius Jackson. Uh, uh, we all know Julian Julius Jackson as a uh, light, mi- light heavyweight and middleweight uh, world champion, uh, a three-time uh, world champion, and he's inducted into the National Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, his son is a boxer now. Um, you know, I interviewed Mickey Ward. I've interviewed uh, Colin Hart, who is uh, uh, a, uh, a photojournalist mm-hmm. uh, uh, in the boxing world from England. Uh, I've, I've actually interviewed a whole host of 
mm-hmm. boxing stars. Okay. And then from a civil rights perspective, you've also done a lot of interviews there and some celebrities, especially, I think, more recently down uh, in Washington um, with the uh, the anniversary there that took place. With the 50th. Yes, the 50th anniversary March on Washington um, uh, took place this year, commemorating, of course, the great uh, march that Martin King and uh, a lot of great civil rights leaders took at that time. Um, we did that again this year, and I was able, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the former secretary of the NAACP Delaware State uh, here in, in our state, uh, and I'm also the current vice president for the Wilmington branch. So I went up uh, to D.C. Uh, this year um, on behalf of, you know, we took a bus trip up, and I got to interview uh, Hillary Shelton, uh, who is the director of the political uh, 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 arm of the NAACP in Washington, and I got to interview Mark Mariel, who is the uh, president of the National Urban League, um, and a few other guys, Mr. Dick Gregory, mm-hmm. uh, great comedian. And so they're, they're on my website, uh, uh, Uh If you want to check those interviews out, uh, they're, they're archived. Okay, and you said the fun stuff. What kind of fun stuff will you be talking about? You talked about that balance, so let's hear about that. Uh, well, you're absolutely right, uh, Carolyn. Uh, you know, we don't want to talk about the issues a lot because we all know what the issues are, you know, and my show is about bringing the solutions. We want to find solutions to these issues in our community. So I'd like to focus more on uh, getting finding solutions to like the killings going on out there, the educational problem, the job issue. And uh, uh, so we talk a little bit more about the solutions to the issues. And then we like to bring in, you know, the fun stuff because life is a balance and we don't want to get all boggled down uh, with a whole bunch of riffraff. Uh, you know, I'm a, a, a dance. Uh, and I love dancing and performing. I'm an actor. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, I have two shows coming up. I might as well throw a plug out for them if it's all right with you. Go right ahead. Well, I have uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, that's going to be a, a, a nine show uh, production to be taking place at the uh, Wilmington Drama League on Lee Boulevard here in our city of uh, Wilmington, Delaware. And uh, that's going to, I think the first show is uh, December the 15th, somewhere around there. Um, uh, and it's going to last till after Christmas. Um, it's a great production. I think there's over uh, 20 or so uh, uh, performers uh, in this play. And then I have uh, uh, another production called Isaiah Turner. I'll be performing in uh, with uh, Mr. Omar Rashida. Uh, the local playwright, where well, most of us around here are familiar with him, and uh, and that show I think is going to be November sixteenth. So you can find uh, those, you know, more information about that uh, on my pages, uh, my Facebook page, and my particularly my website, uh, clinwithjackson dot com, if you want to know more about that. But uh, so we'll be talking about the fun stuff because, you know, our young folks need to know that there's more to life out there besides the corners and, and, and all these killings. We want to teach them how to respect our, our each other, particularly our young ladies. And, uh, and I think the performing arts is a great way to express that mm-hmm. and, and through dance and theater and arts, which they took away, as you know, Carolyn, mm-hmm. uh, years ago. They used to be in the, the schools, schools, but yeah. now they're not in the schools. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds, you know, for someone who's retired from GM, um, you're pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty uh, I tell busy. you, I don't look at it uh, like that. Uh, you, you know, you're, you're in the business. Your, your show is about business mm-hmm. and talking about business. Uh, uh, you give out some great tips and information uh, on your show every week. Um, and so, you know, uh, but it's, it's, you know, I kind of like, well, you know, in theory, I did retire, but really, I don't think I worked harder uh, than I have since I so-called retired or whatever. You know, I don't look at it like retirement. I'm very, very, very busy. I've done more work now than I've ever done, actually, uh, to tell you the truth. And and life is, is a journey. You know, you just move from one 
place in one stage to the next. Uh, you keep moving. The minute you stop moving, then, you know, you, you'll probably perish. But so you want to keep moving. I just moved from one uh, job to the other. You know, I'm also uh, uh, before I was working at the United Auto Workers, I was in the military mm-hmm. for about 12 years. So I actually retired from there as well. I like to think of it like that. And I just moved from from station to station, uh, you know, so I don't look at it like a retirement per se. Okay. Well, we're going to um, let you tell one more time. Your show is called the Linwood Jackson Radio Show. We are debuting that show at one. I'm sorry, at two o'clock. That's right, Carolyn. I'll be Next. following your show, and I hope your <laughs> listeners will be uh, uh, stay you know stay on and listen to what we have. Uh, again, we're going to be offering a lot of prizes. Uh, we're going to give our, our listeners an opportunity to call in and ask our guests questions, uh, anything they want to know in regards to uh, the topics that we're talking about. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, November third, my guest will be a recording, a local recording artist, uh, a gospel, a local gospel recording artist uh, and a director of, of, of some of the stage plays that, that are performing out here. So, you know, stay tuned and get your questions ready. Excellent. Well, we're going to take a break. Um, our uh, guest, our other guest that's going to talk to us about finding funding sources for businesses is here. So we'll be right back with Ami Kassar from Multifunding. Great. Welcome to Wilmington, Delaware. At Preservation Initiatives, we bring beautiful...